All right, so as you are probably aware, or maybe not, I recently tried to take a team of all medium franchise players who had about 70 overall, put them into a franchise mode and see how that would go. And if you don't know how that went, then you can go check out that video now. But today, I am putting a team of high franchise players together here. And this time, they will actually all be high franchise. I made sure of it. So I brought the age down for those players that would not, for some reason, have potential. I'm still not sure why that works that way, but it does nonetheless. And yeah, we did a random here to find out which team we will be taking out. It ended up being Calgary. Sorry, any Calgary fans out there, but it's the way it works. You had a 1 in 31 chance, and you blew it. So that's where we are. We are in the Pacific Division, starting off here as the Burnaby Average Joes once again. And yeah, like I said, this time I made sure to fix everything up and have everyone in the edit line screen actually at high franchise. I double checked this time. The ages were brought down a little bit for the players that were affected by that. And we are good to go this time. And I also want to point out that I tried doing this before getting this footage and the team failed miserably again. So they just were not gripping. I don't know what it was. They couldn't get going. And I realized that there was no snipers on the team. So in this rendition of the footage, I put two snipers on the team, a right winger and a left winger as snipers. So let's see how this one goes. And this time around, we have an awful first year, which is expected, I would imagine, if anyone thought this team was going to do good. I'm not quite sure what to tell you. Ovechkin up there with the Art Ross. Tampa Bay is going to take home the cup in year number one. And Ovechkin also getting himself a few individual trophies here. But Bill Masterton Simulator 2021 strikes once more. And Joe NHL takes it home. So there's the playoff tree. Now let's hop into year number two. So the team progressed quite a bit here, actually, and the chemistry is also working out. At least it seems a little bit better than last time, but I don't know why that would change. Regardless, here's the team. We had a fairly weak start here, but we are already getting some more wins than I believe we were with the medium franchise team. The trade block, I kind of just threw those in there because I find it interesting to look at. The team did finish last, not by... A crazy amount this time, though. We were seven points back in the division, and I think that was the league as well. So we are getting there already in year number two. The goalie still has high franchise, thankfully, even though he's getting lit up. Kaprizov gets the Art Ross with 105 points. The Toronto Maple Leafs take home the Stanley Cup. Kirill the Thrill. And guess what, baby? The Bill Masterton simulator failed. I can't believe it, but we didn't get it. Anyway, it is what it is, and we have ourselves a playoff tree right here. So it's not really relevant because we weren't there. Year three. I honestly thought I didn't have the edit lines for this year. And then I found it in the year two footage. So that's great. Glad I have that. The team started off a little bit better here. You know, like 13 and 16, 14 and 16. It's really not too bad. The trade block is pretty bonkers yet again. It seems to really always have a lot of high-end players in there. So it's always cool to go look at that. But uh, yeah, finished sixth in division, so we weren't last this time. 71 points out of, guess who? Joe NHL, and he's a defenseman nonetheless. The goaltender, 917 and 924, not bad. Up at 84 overall and 78 respectively. We've got Malkin getting the Art Ross this year. He also got 105 points. Chicago will take home the Stanley Cup this time around. And no Joe NHLs, unfortunately. I mean, technically they have the best odds in the league because... There's a bunch of them. There's 20 Joe NHLs, and they still can't take home a trophy. But anyway, here's the team looking a lot better this year. And, you know, like they might actually do some damage this time around. They might actually make an impact for once. So the team started off very strong, as you can see here. Hot start, and then they really just sort of cooled down. I don't know what happened, but yeah, they just really fell off. So here's the trade block once again. Some more big names there. And nothing that we are really concerned about, though, because we aren't making trades. We finish sixth in the Pacific again. We get 72 points out of, you guessed it, Joe NHL. But this time it's a center. But uh, I wanted to check here to make sure everybody still had high franchise. So that's nice to see. We haven't lost anybody just yet. Connor McDusty puts up 103 points and 61 goals. So he gets the Art Ross. 
Pity Pens with the Stanley Cup this time around, and no trophies for Joe NHL once again. I, I love how I'm just treating them as one person. It's just one Joe NHL. They're working as a cohesive unit, but, you know, there is 20 of them. Anyway, look at this team. Very good. 94 overall centerman. That plus five chemistry on defense is really helping, I can imagine. 88 and 82 goalie. Now we're starting to look like a squadron. 13, 5, and 4 here. So the team is doing quite well at the beginning of the year there. The trade block, once again, has some more big names on it. So there you go. Just thought I'd show that because why not? And we unfortunately got rinsed by the Jets in the playoffs here. And then the Jets got rinsed by the Leafs. So clearly, we wouldn't have st nah, stood. I was going to say stand. We wouldn't have stand a chance, but that doesn't quite work. We wouldn't have stood a chance, I think. Now I'm second guessing myself. I'm going to stick with it though. Point a game out of left defenseman Joe NHL. Guy's a stud muffin. Goalie's doing good. Shifley 117 wins the Art Ross. Kyle Connors up there as well. But yeah, the Toronto Maple Leafs did end up winning the Stanley Cup. Joe NHL. Look at this. They're taking over slowly. It's good to see that we're getting some individual trophies. We might not have won the ultimate prize, but we got some individual trophies. Year six, and this team looks lethal, to put it blunt. Look at this team. It's unreal. Joe NHL has really developed. I Once again, treating Joe NHL as one big unit. The whole team is Joe NHL. Burnaby Average Joe's is just an alias. But let's get to the trade block once again here, in case anyone wants to see that. I was offended that Joe NHL was on the block, but obviously not going to get traded. No, not letting that happen. We face the Jets again in the conference finals. This time we were able to take them down. We made it to the finals against the Leafs, who made it there again. Clearly two very consistently good teams, but we were able to win the Stanley Cup this time around. You love to see it. We also got the President's Trophy with 128 points. 83 points at a left wing Joe NHL. One of the four, I should add. Um, goalies did well, so that's nice. Barkov puts up 112. He's going to win himself the Art Ross this year. But the Burnaby Average Joe is cleaning up team trophies. So it took six years for this team to finally go on a run and win the cup. But they did it. Nonetheless, there's the playoff tree. Imagine we lost in round one against the St. Louis Blues there. That would have been devastating. So now the question is, can they do it two times in a row? The team looks unbelievable. Again, obviously, they are all high franchise. So yeah, it's just bound to be a very good team. Start off pretty good here, 21-9-0, and, oh, and they make it to the Stanley Cup Finals against the Ottawa Senators, but the Sens would take down the average Joes. Couldn't go for the two-peat, let alone the three-peat. Not even getting close to that. Not within grasp. Finished third in the NHL, also don't get the President's Trophy this year. 73 points out of Joe NHL. We didn't even have a point -a game player, which I'm kind of shocked, honestly. I thought we'd be getting more points, but it is what it is. Matthews, with 53 goals, 106 points, wins himself the Art Ross. As we saw, the Ottawa Senators win themselves the Stanley Cup. And we got a couple trophies here for Joe NHL, so we're not walking home empty-handed. Here's the final playoff tree, and we actually won. I know this is only the second time for you guys, but for me, this is technically the third. Because I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I tried running this again without having snipers. Mm-mm. Didn't work. So anyways, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other simulation ideas like this, go ahead, let me know. Be sure to leave a comment down below. Leave a like if you could. That would be tremendous as well. Hope you're having a great day, week, whatever. And yeah, I'll catch you soon.